What's up? What's up, everybody? How's it going? I live in New York. There's this great play in New York called Sleep No More. And Sleep No More, it's not a regular play where you sit in the audience and watch people perform on the stage. Sleep No More is in this five-story building. Actors just pop into any room. They start doing a scene there. They leave that part of the building, go to another part. And it's real cool and interactive. You follow them around, it's great. And I was in this office set there, just me all alone in this office set. And I farted in that room. <laughs> but then two actors came into that room to do a scene but they acted right into my fart clout. <laughs> and I could see that it was bothering them. I could see in the eyes that it was bothering them, but they had to power through and stay in character. <laughs> and you know what? It was really cool to be a part of the process. I really <laughs> enjoy being a part of the process. This next bit really doesn't connect to anything I've said so far or anything I'll say. I'll just do the bit. I want to jizz in my hand and go to a palm read and say, what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? What do you see in my future? A nap. I'm trying to get in shape. My, my girlfriend, she's in great shape. She, she's healthy. She gives me health tips sometimes like, Hannah, but you're gonna die. Shit like that, you know, just real <laughs> insightful stuff. No, she cares. She cares. Like, on my left foot, the big toenail is brown. And she says, Hannibal, get it checked out. But I've been letting that shit ride for a decade. <laughs> get it checked out. No, that toe's different. He's an artist. <laughs> He's the leader of the foot. He's brown. Eventually, the other four toenails will be brown. Then it'll be a united situation down there. <laughs> Just get it checked out. So I'm going to go to a podiatrist and get it checked out. But I think that's a weird job to even want to be a podiatrist. Yep, I want to look at people's feet forever. Oh, yeah, you weirdo. That's your dream. That's your life's dream, you weirdo. But then I thought about it more. Being a podiatrist has to be great because the stakes are so low. <laughs> when you're a podiatrist, you never have to walk into a waiting room and make a horrible speech. You never, I'm sorry, your son didn't make it. His bunions went into his prostate. I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> you don't have to do that as a podiatrist. A podiatrist speaks, hey, your foot is a size eight. Stop wearing a size six. Get the fuck out of my office. <laughs> I'm about to go jag off the pictures of women wearing Louboutins. I got here to uh, Canada today. Uh, sometimes your border agents are, are nosy. <laughs> sometimes I come right in, and then sometimes they say, what is this that happened in 2002? I say, that is American business right there. <laughs> Don't worry about what happened in 2002. <laughs> that happened there. I enjoy traveling, because I always meet people, and people want to be good hosts sometimes. You know, so after the show, I've met people. They say, hey, man, whatever you need while you're here in town, I got you. Anything you need, I'll get it for you. But people say anything, but what they really mean is restaurant recommendations and shitty weed. <laughs> it's what they have access to. It just sounds cooler to say anything sometimes. I remember one time I was on the road, this guy comes up, Hannibal, whatever you need while you're in town, I got you. I run this town. I fucking, I run this town. I'm the king of Tampa, Florida. <laughs> I run Tampa. What do you need, man? You need somebody murdered? No, I don't need anybody murdered. Well, why would I need that? People gotta die sometimes, man. <laughs> man, I just got here eight hours ago. Shit escalates fast sometimes, man. <laughs> Listen, if you need somebody murdered, I got six assassins that live here in Tampa and three that have traveled from Orlando if you give them enough notice. What do you need, man? <laughs> what do you need? You need some girls? You need some cocaine? You need some girls that do cocaine? I got you. <laughs> I run this town. I love your comedy show, even though I talk through half of that shit. What do you need? Anything you need, my nigga. Hey, you white, it's weird when you say my nigga. Whatever, my nigga, the word don't mean what it used to mean anymore. <laughs> Rappers say it, I should get to say it too. What do you need, man? You need some girls, you need X, you need some girls that do X, but don't do cocaine, but also kill motherfuckers. What do you need? <laughs> I'm the king of Tampa. <laughs> I really wanted to send that dude on a scavenger hunt. Okay, you know what I need? I need episode two of the X-Men cartoon on Blu-ray. <laughs> I need the Family Matters pilot script, first draft. <laughs> I need three syringes full of cheese. That's a weird one. <laughs> I need a pair of brown penny loafers with quarters in them. <laughs> I need a baby shoe from every state. <laughs> I need to learn how to live in the moment more. 
I need page 24 of Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell, just page 24 with nothing on the other side. <laughs> and I need the audio to the Jay-Z Solange fight in that elevator. I want to know what happened. <laughs> hey, good night, y'all. I'm Hannibal Buress. Later.